Hello everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I'll talk about uh, one of the most desired features on SharePoint, multilingual support. I'll show you how to create a SharePoint multilingual communication site. But before to jump in, remember to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell to stay updated with next videos. Okay, let's go! Alright, here I am on my tenant. I am SharePoint admin here and I can start to create a new communication site here. But before to do that, I want to show you that I have three browser instances here. As I said, I am logged in as a SharePoint admin here. Here I am logged as Wonder Woman and here as a Bruce Wayne. Because I want to create this new site and I want to have three languages in this site, English, Italian and German. I will have responsible for English, Wonder Woman will take care of Italian and the last one, Bruce Wayne, will, will be responsible to translate to German. Okay, now let's start to create this new communication site. I will call it HR. And then we have an important step here to perform. We have to select the default language. Normally, this should be always English, especially if you are a multinational company. Then I will select English as default language and then finish. In seconds, this site is ready to go. But before to create the content, I want to add my colleagues responsible for the translation, Wonder Woman as editor and Bruce Wayne the same rights. They are in now, they can start to translate content. But before to translate the content, we have to enable this new multilingual capability on SharePoint Online. In order to do that, you have to click on the wheel settings, site information, scrolling a little bit down, view all site settings, and finally language settings. Here we are on the new modern page with this new capability. As you can see here, I can enable this feature. If I click here, we have English as a default language. Then I will add Italian and Wonder Woman will translate the content. I can also add here Office 365 group and security group. I have already this group created previously, then I can eventually also add this group if it's more comfortable for me. But let's go ahead with this user. Then I want to have German for this site and Bruce Wayne will take care of this language. I can add additional users, of course. Now we have show advanced settings here. I recommend you do not use this uh, option here because the content should be always translated. It's, it's not good to override the translation. Then I will click save. And now this feature is, is available. I will go back. I can jump now on home page and I have this new button on the command bar. If I click here, I have the option to create additional pages for every language. In this case, we have already a new page for the English. And with this button, I can create an additional page for Italian and additional for German. So I will create on it and now we have three home page per language. Okay, now I want to create another page. So here you can pick up the template that you prefer. You can also create custom template here. Now let's select this blank template. Benefit campaign then I will put some st 
start this new campaign. Publish. Now this content it's ready to go in English. Here I have a drop down list where I can switch from a language to another. But I have to create now the other pages for the for the other two languages. Now we have other other pages for every language and uh, if I refresh here this page I have also German and Italian which are in draft now. We heard a tone now because I got a notification here in the outlook of Wonder Woman. I received this email which tell me that a new page has been created, benefit campaign, so I can start to translate this page. If I jump in, I land directly on the Italian version on the on this page. As you can see from the URL we have here slash IT slash benefit campaign place speaks. And now here I can start to edit the content. I can click on uh, edit and I can change the English to Italian. Iniziamo questa nuova campagna. Then I can publish this new content. So this will be no more in draft. It's it's already online. It's available for the user. Now we go the same we go on the German, German colleague, we, we click on start translating and Bruce Wayne will take care of the translation of this page. Wir starten mit diesem Camp. Publish and now also German is, is ready ready to go. If I switch back now on my SharePoint admin account, I can see that I have all three languages published and the content could be uh, read from every employee in the company. We have the Italian version of the we have the German version and finally the, the English version. This is very simple to, to use, this capability. And, and there is a best practice that the content should be created always first from the default language to the other language. This is the flow how should go through from the default language to the other and then the the content it's always rendered based on the, the language of the user the preferred language of the user if this is not possible for some reason there is a fallback on the default language of the SharePoint site so this means that if I am a, an employee of the company and my favorite language is um, I don't know um, Spanish this content will be displayed in English because there's no support for for Spanish but if I am um, a German employee and my favorite language is German the content will be rendered automatically in, in German now last thing to mention is the possibility to take advantage by capability of the SharePoint API. You can automate all this step by creating uh, pages and, and content in several languages with your custom solution. All right, we have seen how to create a SharePoint multilingual communication site. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like 
and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the next videos. Leave also comments down below if you want to see me cover other topics in the future. Alright, that's all for today. I hope to see you next time. Bye!